Welcome everyone to the traffic bowl. Yes, you are in the correct location. Before we begin the bowl competition, I would like to take a moment to do a special recognition for one of our student members, Becca Carrazes. Becca was one of the key organizers for our International Student Leadership Summit. She was able to relate her experience from organizing an in-person student leadership summit at Georgia Tech back in February of 2020 and translate that to the virtual environment. She not only contributed great ideas of her own, but she also offered feedback to other organizers and was an integral part of the entire organizing process. I received a letter that I had asked for from Colleen Agan after I um, found out about Becca's contributions. And here's what Colleen had to say. Becca organized two competitions, a STEM competition and the Stand Up on Your Soapbox competition. In the STEM competition, Becca reached out to participants to organize teams. Each team had to develop a STEM program for kids and present their idea during a session of the Student Leadership Summit. Becca reached out to the ITE STEM committee and coordinated with them on the judging. In the Stand Up on Your Soapbox session, each student had three minutes to share what they cared about most in transportation. The audience then voted on their favorite ideas. Both were great sessions that allowed for unique attendee engagement and were incredibly well received. In addition, Becca developed marketing materials and encouraged everybody to use them. She was a leader amongst her peers. It is based on this information and wonderful feedback that Becca brought such a bright shining light to the Southern District. And for that, we are recognizing her this afternoon. So thank you, Becca. All right, I think we're squared away there. Good, good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you are. Uh, my name is Greg Judy, uh, and I'm the chair of the Traffic, um, Traffic Bowl Committee for the Southern District, and I want to welcome everyone to the championship round uh, this afternoon. We've got three good teams and we'll uh, to participate, and we'll be introducing them and, and introducing themselves here in just a few minutes. Um, I wanted to take an opportunity to recognize the production team that has made the contest possible this week. Um, so it's, you know, we couldn't have done that with, uh, without everybody's uh, assistance and support over the last several months um, getting ready and making these arrangements. So what I would like to do is just uh, uh, introduce each of the members of the production team and allow them just to maybe say hello so that everybody can kind of see their, their face on the, on the video screen and such. such. So we'll start with our uh, esteemed uh, dignitaries, if you will, uh, of our judges. Uh, Paula, uh, Paula Flores, if you want to say hello. Sorry. Um, hello, everybody, and good luck to all the teams. Thank you, Paula. Alyssa? Hi, everybody. Thanks for the opportunity to be here. Good luck, everybody. Looking forward to a great competition. Thank you both to Alyssa and Paula for taking the time out of your busy schedules to do this. Appreciate that. Um, Richard Cottle is uh, you know, past, past chair of this committee and, and still hanging on. So, Richard, you want to say hello and what wave? <laughs> Hey, yeah, Greg's doing a great job taking over and happy to still be in a support role. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for that, Richard. Uh, Lauren. 
everybody. Um, Lauren Schriebert here. My, my role this week has been as the Zoom hostess. And so um, just kind of making sure everybody finds their way around the virtual world that is this traffic goal. So good luck. Yeah, thanks, Lauren. I really kind of doing this without the corporation and then all the help from the LAC and then particular ICO committees for all the technology part of this. So that, that's great. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your help, Lauren. Brian. Hey, everybody. Uh, Brian Bartnick. Um, good, first off, good luck to, to all the teams that we still have in the, in the competition. And and it's, it's been fun. And my eyes have been glued on a chat box. So when you saw me get surprised yesterday, I was, wasn't really sure what was going on. But we got Tommy's back if, if he needs it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Brian, Brian's helping monitor the chat boxes. The teams chime in, so that's kind of happened behind the scenes. Uh, Jeff, hey everybody, Jeff Stevenson from Alabama, um, involved with helping to um, get the live stream and broadcasting established so that all of you can can watch. So uh, just been a lot of fun, and good luck to all the students, and congratulations. Yeah, right on. Good deal. Good deal. I also want to mention uh, Laura Beth Yates, uh, Alabama section. She's on maternity leave right now, but she's a, a been a, a part of the committee and, and helping through the years, too. So I hope Laura Beth's doing, doing well. Um, we're going to move on to recognizing our, our kind of as our title sponsor here, VHB. Uh, we have a short clip uh, that VHB has provided. And uh, Tommy, I haven't forgotten you. I'll let you introduce yourself in just a second when we uh, go over. But let's let's watch this uh, from from VHB. Something that people will enjoy. You're creating something that allow people to be mobile. You're creating communities. You're creating development opportunities, and you're creating the foundation for businesses and people and communities to thrive into the future. All right. Thank you to VHB for everything that that, that they've done. So, Tommy, uh, last but certainly not least, you're the kind of the face of this group. So, and, and doing a great job. So, Tommy. Uh, Introduce yourself, and we, we can we can get started. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name's Tommy Lee. Uh, I work with Vulcan Incorporated at, down in South Alabama. Um, good luck to all the teams. Congratulations for getting this far. Uh, you're all great, great uh, students, and this is going to be a good competition. I would uh, like to remind everybody: don't forget to boo the judges. <laughs> right, Tom, if you're ready, well, we can go through the inter introductions of the teams. All right. We are ready for the 2021 William H. Temple Scholarship Traffic Bowl, our championship round. Our first team are the Hokies from Virginia Tech. Hello, uh, I'm Peter Olson. I'm a first year master student at Virginia Tech, and I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hi, my name is Emily Casey. I'm a second year master's student at Virginia Tech, and I'm from Roanoke, Virginia. Hello, everyone. My name is Ian McManus. I'm a first year master's student at Virginia Tech, and I'm from Williamsburg, Virginia. And that is the Virginia Tech Hokies. Let's give them a big hand. Mm -hmm. our, sec our second team are the Clemson Tigers. Hi, my name is Ross Holt. I'm a senior civil engineering major at Clemson from Marietta, Georgia. Hello, my name is Matthew Stanley. I am a first year's master's student at Clemson University and I am from Trinity, North Carolina. Hi, uh, my name is Xiang Yishen. Um, I'm from Shanghai. And those are the Tigers from Clemson University. Give them a big hand. And our third team is from North Carolina State, the Wolfpack. Hello, my name is Molly Burke. I am a first year's master student at NC State, and I am originally from Durham, North Carolina. Hello, my name is Ryan Samet. I'm a first year master's student and I'm also from Durham, North Carolina. Hi everyone, my name is Adam Schmidt. I'm a first year's master's student at NC State and I'm from Greenville, North Carolina. 
the Wolfpack from NC State. Let's give them a big hand. All right, Greg, we are ready. Now, we did allow the judges to introduce themselves, but certainly want to just remind everybody uh, our current international president, Ms. Al Alyssa Rodriguez. Um, she is uh, the, in the hot seat this year for us, and she serves as the Director of Information Technology for the city of Henderson, Nevada. Our second judge is uh, a has-been. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she uh, was our international president in 2016, Ms. Paula Flores. She currently works for Greenman Peterson as the transportation planning discipline leader out of Tampa, Florida. So welcome judges, and thank you both for being here with us today. All right, students, we now have the board showing up, and I'm gonna get my box out of the way. All right, and so um, our five categories for the final round today are as follows. Category one, Highway Capacity Manual. These are general concepts from the sixth edition of the Highway Capacity Manual, Chapter 10. Column two, ITE Technical Resources. This is general knowledge items taken from the International ITE's website. Third category, MUTCD Signals. These are traffic signal concepts taken from the part of the MUC, MUTCD, excuse me. Fourth column, weather signs. Knowledge of weather-related roadway signing taken from part two of the MUTCD. And our final category, famous bridges and tunnels. Name the stated bridge or tunnel based on the description provided. All right. Now, um, for those in the listening audience, just want to make sure that you do know that we're streaming both on the SDITE YouTube channel and Facebook page. Um, we do have a 12-second clock this year. Virginia Tech was selected as the red team. And I guess Greg is doing that real quickly. There we go. No pressure when you're typing in front of everybody looking. Yeah, sorry at you. about that. Yeah, thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. All right. And with that, we are ready to get started. Virginia Tech, you have control of the board. Thank you. Um, we're going to start with MUTCD signals for 100. Warrant one for traffic signalization requires minimum volume, thresh volume thresholds be met for at least this many hours in a day. Clemson. What is eight hours? Correct, correct. All right, Clemson, you are in control. All right, let's keep going with METCD signals for 200, please. For a signal warrant analysis, bicyclists must, may be counted as either vehicles or this. Virginia Tech. What is a pedestrian? Correct. Virginia Tech, you have the board. Um, we'll keep going with MUTCD for three. These are two diameter sizes in inches for vehicular signal indications. Clemson. What are eight inches and 12 inches? Correct. Clemson, you're in control. MUTCD 400. The inside of signal visors shall have a dull finish of this color. 
Clemson. What is black? Correct. Correct. Clemson is still in control. Let's finish MUTCD for 500. The walking person signal indication shall be this color. NC State. What is white? Correct. All, right. all, teams, all teams are now on the board. Great. NC State, you have control. Uh, can we get highway capacity manual for 100, please? The subtitle for the sixth edition of the HCM is A Guide for This Type of Mobility Analysis. North Carolina State. What is vehicular? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Okay, time is up. And just a reminder to the students, obviously, Go will be set up again. And if you do uh, want to uh, buzz in after an incorrect answer, you certainly can do so. Correct answer here, what is multimodal? Multimodal. NC State, you still have control. Uh, can we get the same category for 200, please? Volume two of the HCM covers uninterrupted flow, while volume three covers this type of flow. Clemson. What is interrupted flow? Correct, correct. Clemson. All right, uh, HCM 300. Travel modes covered by the HCM include motorized vehicles, pedestrians, and this. Virginia Tech. What are bicycle bicyclists? Correct. Virginia Tech. We'll stick with HCM for four. Undersaturated conditions exist where demand is less than capacity while this condition exists when demand exceeds capacity. Virginia Tech. What is congested? That's incorrect. NC State. What is saturated? That's incorrect. Clemson apparently wanted no part of this. Final correct answer. What is oversaturated? Oversaturated. Virginia Tech, you're still in control of the board. We will finish off HCM. This term is defined as the length of roadway between two points. Clemson. What is a segment? Correct. Correct. Clemson, you're up. Let's go ITE Technical Resources 100. Zero, excuse me, Vision Zero sets a target of this many roadway fatalities and serious injuries. Virginia Tech. What is zero? Correct. 
Virginia Tech. Um, can we have weather signs for 100? The R16-6 requires headlights to be on when, this we when the weather is doing this. Clemson. What is raining? Correct. Correct. Clemson, you're in control. Let's go ITE Technical Resources 200. The Vision Zero Standing Committee is found under this council. NC State. What is the Safety Council? Correct. Correct. NC State. We'll take ITE Technical Resources for 300, please. The ITE employer councils include the industry council, the public agency council, and this council. NC State. What is the academic council? That is incorrect. Time is up. Correct answer. What is the consultants council? Consultant. NC State, you're still in control though. Uh, we'll take ITE technical resources for 400, please. Active transportation refers to modes of travel that do not involve this type of vehicle. Virginia Tech. What is motorized? Correct. Correct. Virginia Tech. Um, we'll just finish ITE technical resources. The pedestrian and bicycle standing committee is found under this council. Time is up. The Complete Streets Council. Complete Streets. Virginia Tech, you're still in control. Um, we'll start bridges and tunnels at 100. This bridge spans the East River between Manhattan and Brooklyn in New York. Clemson. What is the Brooklyn Bridge? Correct. Clemson. Let's go bridges and tunnels for 200. This is the longest bridge in the world connecting Metairie to Mandeville in Louisiana. Clemson. What is the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway? Correct. Clemson. Let's go Bridges Tunnels 300. This bridge spans the channel between the Pacific Ocean and San Francisco Bay. Clemson. What is the Golden Gate Bridge? Everyone is answering on these questions. Clemson, you're in control. Let's go 400 Bridges Tunnels. This bridge originally spanned the Thames River in London, but now resides in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Clemson. What is the London Bridge? Correct, correct. Clemson. 
Let's finish uh, Bridges Tunnels, please. Daily Double. Ding, 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 ding. Although I noise is great. All right, a little delay there, Tommy. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as with the Daily Double, uh, only Clemson can answer this question. Clemson, you have 2,600 points. You may bid up to 2,600. Let's go 500 points, please. This is the 4.3 mile bridge, which connects the Eastern shore to the Western shore in the state of Maryland. What is the Chesapeake Bay Bridge? Correct, correct. Uh, um, um, please put a done on there, Brian, um, uh, because Cle uh, Clemson did, yeah, thank you. Uh, Clemson did chime in, but they didn't have to. Clemson, you're still in control. Weather signs 200. The EM1 sign is typically used for the evacuation routes during this type of weather. Clemson. What is a hurricane? Correct. Clemson. Weather signs 300. The W8-5 sign advises motorists the roadway may be slippery when the roadway is this. Clemson. What is wet? Correct. Clemson. Weather signs 400. The W813 sign advises motorists that a bridge might do this before the road. Virginia Tech. What is freeze? Correct. Correct. What is ice over? Virginia Tech, last category. 500. The W819 depth gauge sign may be installed on a roadway which does this frequently. Virginia Tech. What is flood? Correct. And that concludes our game board. Let's give them all a big hand. Good job, students. Good job. So after the, the play of the board, Clemson is the, in the lead at 3,600, Virginia Tech at 1,500, and NC State at uh, minus 100. Now, per the rules of the traffic bowl, international rules, NC State being less than zero will not be allowed to play to to continue into the final Jeopardy or final Traffic Bowl question uh, area. So, students, that we will get now to try the uh, technology that we work so hard to do. Um, we're going to show you uh, Clemson and Virginia Tech. We're going to show you the final category in just a moment. Um, you'll have 60 seconds to decide what your wager is going to be. And we need for you to do two things. Number one, you need to text me your wager with your team name. And number two, you need to write down that wager on a sheet of paper big enough that the crowd can see when you hold it up on your screen. All right, is everybody ready? Okay, Greg, our final category for the championship is MUTCD General Concepts. We will allow them, ladies and gentlemen, um, 60 seconds to make their uh, bids. And um, so you get to hear my melodious voice. Uh, I won't sing to you though, um, while we wait. 
we could have uh, tried to come up with some music or something, but we just decided that y'all would rather hear my voice. So um, we are moving along, and both teams are now in. So, Greg, you can reset the clock. All right. So our, our bids are in. We're now going to show you the final answer. Again, we're asking you to do two things. One, text me your um, final answer in the form of a question along with your team name, and then also write that down on a sheet of paper so that the crowd can see what your answer was when you give it, all right? Final qu category of METCD general concepts, and the final answer is, the MUTCD presents official directives in the form of four different levels of interpretation, including support. Name the other three. on time. Thank you very much, students. All right, we will start with Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech, what is your final answer? Someone needs to unmute themselves. What is, what is guidance, enforcement, and design? Sorry, that is incorrect. And how many points did you bid, Virginia Tech? All, all of them. 15, all 1,500. <laughs> Go to Clemson. Clemson, what is your answer, final answer? What are standard recommendation and guidance? So close. But I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Clemson, how many points did you bid? One point. One. And therefore, Clemson is the, today's winner with 3,599 points. Congratulations to the Tigers of Clemson, and congratulations to all three schools. That is absolutely wonderful. Congratulations, everyone. Would like to uh, announce that um, obviously the the traffic bowl is named in honor of William H. Temple, Bill Temple of uh, Temple Incorporated. Um, Blair Temple and his brother Blake and the entire Temple organization are the funders of the winning team. Uh, so each year they put up $3,000, uh, which will now be split evenly between the three students uh, that participated. So we wanna really thank uh, the Temples and uh, everything that they do for ITE and for the traffic bowl. Southern District does put up $7,750 for each other participant in the finals. So each, each of them will walk away with $750. So thank you very much to Southern District and for all of what you do for all of us. Greg, with that, this was a wonderful um, uh, uh, work. Thank you, you thanked everybody else. Thank you for putting this all together. Uh, you made us all look good, so I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'm going to turn it back over to you, sir. I yeah, appreciate that, Tommy. Thank you. Um, again, congratulations to Clemson, and but also to Virginia Tech and, and North Carolina State. I appreciate you all uh, 
participating and, and just doing what y'all do. And uh, also, the, again, the judges appreciate all the production team. So, uh, Lauren, I, I don't have anything else. We can, I guess, sign off and uh, hope everyone enjoys the, the rest of the rest of the meeting and uh, have a good rest of the day. We'll sign off. Thank you all. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.